Well, it's an important day in comic book history. In a brand new comic, Archie chooses a bride. Comic buffs are calling it a major event. But what do local fans think of his choice? That story is coming up. It may be one of the longest courtships in history, but today, after more than 65 years, cartoon character Archie Andrews officially chose to leave the bachelor life behind. The Archie to the Altar comic, where he proposes to Veronica, was released today. And as Fletcher Kent reports, many avid Archie fans call it a pop culture event. Wednesday morning at Happy Harbor Comics, and a fictional wedding has drawn a crowd. Archie and Veronica are getting married. Archie married Veronica after 65 years. I was like, wow. The line of Archie fans eagerly awaits the comic release of the season. You can head on upstairs. All want to see why, after decades dating two women, Archie picks Veronica. This is a milestone in history. This is compared to the death of Superman and the death of Captain America. This is huge. So for such a big day, Happy Harbor Comics throws a party with costumes and cake. <laughs> The hardcore fans love it, but many others are also reading this issue. It's wholesome family fun, it's entertaining, and, you know, it's lasted 65 years. Another more racy and more violent comics have come and gone. That's really what pop culture is all about. And the store's owner says that's what makes this day more than just a comic milestone. Oh, have a good turnout. Everyone knows about the Riverdale love triangle. The reason that it is so popular is because it connects with so many people and it makes them feel good. And at the end of the day, that's all we're trying to do is just make people feel good. But on this day, the big questions aren't philosophical. Most simply want to know, what about Betty? You can shoot hoops with her, then when you're done, she'll bake you a pie. When you're done eating the pie, she'll go out and fix your car. Haven't seen the end of uh, Betty. I think there might be an affair between Archie and Betty and in a nice way. To Veronica, I don't know if that's the best choice. Maybe it is in tough economic times. And with five more issues left to go in the Archie Mary's Veronica series, many still hold out hope the pop culture wedding of the year never happens. Might be a dream or it just could be something that they're like, haha, just kidding, but I don't think yeah. it's real. It can't be real. <laughs> because to some people, things like the Riverdale gang just aren't meant to change. That's why they've stayed so popular for so long. Fletcher Kent, Global News. Fans will be following the Archie storyline for the next five months as this wedding series continues. Been asking guys all day, Veronica? Betty. No, I would Betty? take Yeah. Really? Oh, for sure, yeah. I always like Betty way that better. That surprises me. Really? Yeah, well, we can talk about that in the commercial, okay. but now that leaves you as the most famous bachelor. <laughs> yeah, right, in yeah. In Riverdale. <laughs> oh, yeah, in Riverdale. Well, You'll drop someday. What was that, 65 years for him? Yeah, yeah you got a little ways to couple go. A couple more years, yeah, I'll take him on. A <laughs> couple more. Yeah, I'm not ready to, well, I was going to say something, but I can't, but because of the Canadian Derby, I had a good line, but I don't think I can say it. But you that's coming me. up, well, I will. It's coming up this Saturday. We'll have a preview when we come back. In Edmonton, Archie comic fans dressed up as their favorite Riverdale High characters to attend a mock engagement party and mark a significant moment in pop culture history. After 67 years, the famous Carrot Top has made his choice between Betty and Veronica. His pick? The brunette, Veronica. The news was broken in a special issue of the comic out today. By the end of summer, someone with excellent concentration, communication, and hand-eye coordination will join the major league and start making a living playing. Crystal Gamansing, Global News, Winnipeg.